Hello and welcome to this show, uh, this date in history, also known as TDH. This show is all about the events that occurred to date in years past, both recognized by actual historians, but mainly things that we personally find intriguing enough for us to bring to you. The sources of this information come from the smart device application Today in History. What happened today in history? Historical calendar. Muffin? It um. I think he's still uh, MIA, okay. Uh, and the website on this day.com. For links to those sources, the music, and anything else we gather throughout the show, check the description. Anyway, I am AO Xander. I am me, and he is you. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, Richard Brown. Yep. I'm you. Yep. I got that from Rush Hour. We're a oh. glitch. Before we continue on with the show, uh, I want to uh, make an announcement. Yesterday, right after, like literally 30 seconds after we finished yesterday's show, I was informed of the passing of uh, the great Gilbert Gottfried. Uh, so, um, yeah, that's a bit of a sad news thing. So, it uh, is. Yeah. He was the voice of the parrot in Aladdin. So, and anyway, the dentist in Fairly Odd Parents. Oh, wait, he was who? Did you know that this is a very fairly odd parrot? The de all I really remember from Fairly Odd Parrots is Crocker and a couple other characters. The dentist. Uh, uh, excuse me. You. Anyway, today is Woden's Day, also known as Odin's Day, also known as Wednesday, April 13th, 2022. Uh, Muffin, why don't you start us off today? Uh, okay. Uh, one, 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 one. Or a thousand hundred and eleven. <laughs> uh, we got Henry the Fifth, I think. Um, is crowned yeah. holy? Ho ho yeah. I don't know why I can't. Holy Roman Emperor. Mm. Jesus, I can't. Ho holy, goddamn. And uh, Mr. Lunk. Yeah, no, I want the next one. Okay. In 1204, Constantinople fell to the Crusaders of the Fourth Crusade, temporarily ending the Byzantine Empire. So, yeah. didn't we talk about that yesterday? About the start of the siege or something? Or something like that? Yes, we did. Yeah. Oh, yes. Here's yours. Also, in 1612, Miyamoto Musashi defeats the Kai... the Sasaki... Kojiro at Funajima Island. Ooh. Now, yeah. you're, uh, you're informing me about this uh, individual, like one of the best samurais or something? Yeah, one of the most badass samurais even to have existed. Ah, why is that? He had over 61 uh, defeated, undefeated streak. Dang. That is pretty and, badass. And he was a master up at two hand a two armed uh, blades, or two yeah, two blades. So, so like a, a Darth Maul blade, is that what you're talking about? No, no, like dual wielding. He was dual wielding. Oh. Okay. Uh. One of the one of the few Ronins to receive the title of Kinsei. What's Kinsei? I forgot what it means, but I'm about to look it up. All right. While you're doing that, uh, Mr. Uh, Pound, why don't you take us to 1613? I'm going to pound her down. Damn. Um, in 1613, we got Samuel, Samuel, oh my god, I can't freaking speak, Argyll, uh, having captured Pocanotus and Passapatnese, whatever the fuck the name is, in uh, Virginia, sets off within her to Jamestown with the, the intention of exchanging her for English prisoners held by her father. What did you call her? Pocahontas? Or Pocanotus? Whatever her freaking name, name is, this dude. Freaking Pocahontas. <laughs> Pocahontas, I don't care. <laughs> I'm sticking to it. In 1699, which was 323 years ago, the Sheikh religion was formalized as the Khalsa, the Brotherhood of Warrior Saints, by Guru Gobind Singh in northern India, in accordance with the Nanashiki calendar. Nanak, Nanak Shahi. What's with these names, bro? I'm turning into Richard right now. What the hell? 
Yeah. Okay, Kinsei is an honorary title huh. given to samurai, to warriors with legendary skill in swordsmanship, which translates to sword state. Cool. And I think that's a picture of, uh, yep, me and most of me, I put the, I put the link in, uh, my list. Yeah, the first picture you see is of Miyamoto Misashi and his dual wielding style. Alright. Oh, so he had like a sword and like a saber or something, like a smaller dagger or something, or a long yeah, dagger. Yeah, like, he, like, he had a katana and a wakazi. Like ah. a short sword, a katana. Alright. Interesting. Yeah. I'm going to add this to the underbuyer. The link that you posted. Oh, oh yeah, one of his kills was with a long stick. He hit the man once, and that was it. Huh? No, he hit him right in the temple with a stick. You can kill somebody. Oh, he hit him, he hit him right in the... hit him right in the head. Like, right in the temple. So yeah, that's... Hit, uh, with, with a leap and jump, and hit him. That's a great way to kill somebody. So, yeah. Anyway, jump on up into 1742. George Friedrich Handel's Oratio Messiah made its world premiere in Dublin, Ireland. What or oratorio? What is an oratorio? I think it's like some kind of opera or something. Let's see here. Yeah, it's just a regular Oreo cookie, man. Uh, an oratorio. An oratorio is a large musical composition for orchestra, choir, and soloists. Like most operas, an oratorio includes the use of a choir, soloist, uh, uh, an instrumental ensemble, uh, various distinguishable characters, and arias. Alright, for more information about Oratorio, please refer to the underbar for the link. Uh, what happened, uh, in 1777? In 1777, American Revolutionary War, American forces are ambushed and defeated in the Battle of, um, Brook, Jersey. Hmm. That's just one small little scrape compared to what happens later on in the war. Yeah, well, that's... Well, when did the Civil War, or not the Civil War, the Revolution end anyway? Uh, American Revolution? Uh, 1791. So yeah, there was... That's 1765 through 1791, that is... Like, almost 30 years. That's 27 years? 28 years? 29 years? Yeah. I don't know. I can't math. It's a long time. Myth. Yeah. Uh, Sir Richard, what happened in 1840? Actually, not in that. In, in uh, 1829. Uh, these muffins. Um, uh, anyways, in 1829, we got the Roman Catholic Relief Act in 1829. Gives Roman Catholics in the United Kingdom the right to vote and to sit in Parliament. Nice. A little bit of uh, religious representation is always good. Yeah. 20 years later, in 1849, Lajos Kossuth presented the Hungarian Declaration of Independence in a closed session of the National Assembly. Cool. Uh, so, and take these next two, if you don't mind. Sure. Where are we at? 1861. 1861, American Civil War, Fort Sumter surrenders to the Confederate forces. Yeah. Also in 1970, the <coughs> Lord's Stadium Museum of Art is founded. That is awesome. Nice. But yeah, the Fort Sumter, that started uh, yesterday in 1861. Uh, so yeah, the start of the Civil War. Interesting. Uh, Richard, 1873? Oh, 73, this down. Anyways, in 349 years ago, the Colfax Massacre, in which more than 60 black men are murdered, takes place. Hey, that's not good. Moving on up into 1909, the 31st Marsh led to the overthrow of Sultan Abdul Hamid II. Hamid. What was the 31st of March incident? Maha. We must Maha. have a are you okay? Yeah. Uh, anyway, the 31st of March, isn't it, was a political crisis within the Ottoman Empire in April of 1909 during the Second Constitutional Era. 
Uh, I'm going to put this in the underbar. We're getting a lot of links today. Yes, we are. Uh, who wants to take this next one here, 1919? 1919. Jawalienburg Massacre. British Indian Army troops led by Brigadier General Reginald Dwyer killed approximately 379 to 1,000 unarmed demonstrators, including men and women in Armistar, India, and approximately 100 about oh, uh, 1,500 injured. Dang. You know. that's, that's just awful. Like, unarmed demonstrators, you know. Uh, you know I, I don't even know how to process that. That's... Anyway, let's move on up into 1941 before I dwell on that. Uh, in which a pact of neutrality between the USSR and Japan was signed. Um, but that didn't last for long, because, uh, yeah, Japan and Russia started fighting again not too long after that. Uh, Richard, 1943? Richard, you uh, there? Yeah, I'm sure I'd look shit up. Oh. Anyways, 1943, uh, fucking hell. <clears throat> they got the infamous WW2, World War II, uh, the discussion of mass graves of Polish prisoners of war were killed by the Soviet forces in the Katyn Force Massacre. I don't know how Katyn. Anyways, it is announced causing a diplomatic rift between the Polish government in exile in London and the Soviet Union, which denies responsibility. Mm. Yeah, the Soviets did a lot of horrible stuff, you know, as well. Like, they were doing their own Holocaust. A lot of people don't realize that. And actually, uh, they had more of the death camps than Germany did, especially for the Jews. So, uh, oh. yeah. A lot of people like to pin it on uh, Little Mustache Man, but uh, Big Mustache Man was doing more of the problem than uh, Hitler was. So, anyway. And also, don't forget what he did to his own people. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, like, you know, I don't want to gloss over that, but, I, you know, we talk about that all the time. But, you know, getting into more of the nitty-gritty dirt. You know, there's even more atrocities that he did that, you know, even I don't really talk about that much, but I should, so. Also, in, 19, also in 1943, the Jefferson Memorial is dedicated to Washington, D.C. on the 20th anniversary of President Thomas Jefferson's birthday. I believe, uh, 200, 200th anniversary. 200th anniversary. Yeah. One year later, in 1944, relations between New Zealand and the Soviet Union were established. Hmm. Those Kiwis. Well, I guess that's how you get Kiwi-flavored vodka, you know? <laughs> yeah. Moving on up into 1945, during World War II, German troops killed more than 1,000 political and military prisoners in Gardelagen, Germany. You know, German did do horrible things, though, so don't don't let my uh, previous statement sugarcoat anything. Both sides were awful. Also, in 1945, World War II, Soviet and Bulgarian forces captured Vienna. Hmm? Uh-oh. Ooh, you want... No, no. This one's uh, just up your alley, Muffin. Uh, you there? 1953, yeah. Um, Are you falling asleep? No, I'm just doing a lot of shit at once. Um, okay, well, I can take this if you're busy. No, no, you're good. Uh, 1953, the CIA director, Alan Dulles, launches a mid-mind control program project called MK Ultra. We all know about that. Yes, yeah. we do. Mm -hmm. I don't know about it. Are you serious? You're trolling me. Like, I literally half know about it, really. It's It was a CIA program about mind control. Um, I think that's, uh, like, the whole the famous men who stare at goats thing uh, was part of that. Like, it was yeah. all about, like, you know, telepathy, how to, how to control people's minds. Uh, you know, uh, inventing and using, uh, like, the hard, crazy drugs, like acid and everything to try to figure out how uh, people's brains work in order to better control them, you know? 
Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, moving on up into 1958, uh, American pianist Van Cleburne was awarded the first prize at the inaugural international uh, Tchaikovsky competition in Moscow. Well, that's cool. During I, the, that was Trump just at the beginning speed. of the Cold War, too. Also, 1960, the United States launches Transit B-1B, the world's first satellite navigation system. Ah, GPS. 1964, which was 58 years ago, at the Academy Awards, Sidney Poitier became the first black U.S. citizen male to win the Best Actor Award for the 1963 film Lilies of the Field. Good damn right. Nice. Ooh, oh, so, here we go. So, uh, Hold on, let Muffin have yeah. this. Let Muffin have this. Muffin, He's a space guy. It's all you, Muffin. Uh, what year? 1970. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, an oxygen tank tank, god damn it o an oxygen tank aboard the Apollo 13 service module explodes, putting the crew in great danger and causing major damage on the Apollo command and service module uh, codename Odyssey while en route to the moon yep, Houston we have a problem or Houston, there is a problem, whichever one is the actual quote. But. Also, in 1972, Vietnam War, the Battle of Unlock begins. Yeah. And also, in 1972, the Universal Postal Union decides to recognize the People's Republic of China as both legitimate Chinese representation, effectively expelling the Republic of China, administering uh, Taiwan. Yep. Taiwan's been getting it getting shafted for decades. Decades and decades. More like half a century, actually. Well, fifty years ago, so yeah, exactly half a century. As far as cis pertaining. Anyway, three years and later Taiwan's doing. Yep. Taiwan's doing better. Yep. I I support Taiwan. I support uh uh Tibet, you know. I support the Uyghurs, you know. And this YouTube channel is shut down in 3, 2... Anyway, three years later, 1975, an attack by the Falun Gas Resistance caused the deaths of 26 militia members of the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, marking the start of the 15-year Lebanese Civil War. Hmm. Poor Palestine. Also, 1976, 40 workers died in explosion at the... La Pura Ammunition Factory, the deadliest accident disaster in modern history in Finland. Jeez. Well, going off. I guess today's like disaster day in Finland or something. They have to be mem remembering it somehow. You know? Dangle, dangle. Well, the next one's not that pretty either. You want to take it? Sure. 1996, we got two women and four children are killed after Israel. The helicopter fired rockets at Abilene in Mansuri, Lebanon. Yep. Yep, here we go. Israel just causing more damage and getting away with it by hiding behind the Holocaust. When will people learn? Mm hmm. Moving on up into 1997, Tiger Woods became the youngest golfer to win the Masters Tournament. And talking about a you wait what the oh yeah that's death first uh talk about a huge fucking time jump the 20 years yep yep into uh 2017 i remember this too the u.s drops the largest non-nuclear weapon on the the garhara providence of Af Af I mean, Afghanistan. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I mean, that's the mother of all bombs they dropped. Was it the Moab or the Foab? It was the Moab. Because there's the mother Moab. of all bombs and then there's the father of all bombs. I don't remember which they one's dropped, bigger. They dropped, the, they dropped the mother of all bombs on oh. that area. Dang. I remember that. Because was trying to talk bad about Trump for doing that. Hmm. Yeah. 
Before we get into person deaths, anybody have uh, any articles that uh, you know uh, interest them today? Uh, a lot of them. Yeah. One is the mother of all bombs being mm -hmm. dropped. The Apollo 13 and Miyamoto Musashi. Yeah. Uh, another one um, is the uh, Transit 1B, the first GPS, you know, global positioning satellite, you know, satellite navigation system, such like that. Uh, also, the launch of uh, MK Ultra. Um, yeah. And. Uh, yeah, there's there's a lot. Oh yeah, and then uh, the Israel murdering innocent women and children by shooting an ambulance. Who shoots an ambulance? You know. Uh, have Seriously. Have you ever been to Detroit? Well, you make a point there. Yeah. Anyway, jumping on up into Burst here. Uh, who wants to take the first one? I will. All right. No fucking way. Eighteen hundred Charles Christie. Canadian American businessman who co-founded the Christie Film Company. Uh, did I not put in the first part? Twelve twenty-nine. Oh, I don't see twelve twenty-nine. You don't see twelve twenty-nine? Hold on. Eighteen thirty. That's okay. Uh, hold on. Did you scripts. First. Boo boo happen. Things happen. Huh. Okay. Well, hold on. Let, uh, let me let me put in this here. Uh, eighteen. Okay, so hold on. It's gonna be a little jumbled here, but here's this part. So 1229. Uh, our starters off while we're going through there. Um, 1229. We have Louis II, Duke of Bavaria. And then. 1506, Peter Faber, French priest and theologian who co-founded the Society of Jesus. Society of Jesus. Yeah. Here, let me, uh... Society. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to add this, uh, to, to fix it up here, so that way it's not all jumbled? Okay. Alright, let me fix this up real quick. Alright, get rid of that, get rid of that. Okay, 1955. 1880, delete message. Okay. Oops. Alright. Here's this one. Okay. So there you okay, go. Okay, I see beer. Yeah. It's... In 1570, Guy Fox, English soldier and member of the Gunpowder Plot. Yep. Yeah, remember, remember the 5th of November. Yeah. Hey, I'll be right back. I gotta use the bathroom. Alright, have a blast. 1593, we have Thomas Wentworth, 1st Earl of Stratford. He was an English soldier and politician who was a Lord Lieutenant of Ireland. And, uh, Richard, you there? Okay, he's not there. Moving on up into 1618, Roger de Rabutin, Comte de Bussy, was born on the state. He was a French author. And then 30 years later, in 1648, Jean-Marie Bouvier de la Montegoyon, a French mystic. 1735, Isaac Lowe, an American merchant and politician who founded the New York Chamber of Commerce. There you are. You want to take uh, 1743? Who was born then? Oh, fuck. Oh, that's not good. Uh, Thomas Jefferson, an American lawyer and politician who was the third president of the United States of America. Yep. Yeah. In 1764, we have Laurent de Gauvin saint Pierre, French general and politician who is a French minister of war. Uh, 1780, we got Alexander Mitchell, Irish engineer who invented the <clears throat> a screw pile lighthouse. What is the screw pile lighthouse? Let me look that up real quick. Screw pile lighthouse. Okay, so a uh, screw pile lighthouse is a lighthouse which stands on piles that are screwed into sandy or muddy seas or river bottoms. All right, that's pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to add this into the underbar here real quick. Okay. 1852, Frank Winfield uh, Woolworth, an American businessman who co or who founded the F.W. Woolworth Company. Uh, 
We got 1854. We got Lucy Craft Lane Laney, American founder of the Haynes Normal and Industrial School. Uh, Agu Gusta, Georgia. In 1860, we have James Ensor, an English-Belgian painter who was an important influence on Expressionism and Surrealism. 1866, we got Butch Cassidy, American criminal. Yeah, Butch Cassidy, yeah. 1872, Alexander Roda Roda, an Australian, an Austrian, Croatian journalist and author. Uh, the last one I see on here on Burr says 1879, Oswald Bruce Cooper, American type designer, lettering, lettering artist, and graphic designer, and an educator. Yeah. And then, uh, let's see here. Uh, 1880, we have Charles Christie, a Canadian-American businessman who co-founded the Christie Film Company. You should be able to see the rest of uh, Burr's now. I uh, lost my track here. I'm going to add here deaths real quick as well. So while you're trying to figure out your track again, um, 1892, Sir Arthur Harris, first baronet, an English air marshal. Uh, the same year, 1892, you got Robert Watson Watt. What a freaking weird ass uh, name. Uh, Scottish engineer who invented the radar, yep. ironically. Yep. Radio detection and ranging. Mm -hmm. 1899, we have Alfred Mosher Butts, American huh. architect and game designer who created Scrabble. Uh, butts. <laughs> <laughs> Mosher Butts. Uh, and then... Anyways, and. What the fuck name is this? Um, 1916, yeah, Fis, Fisilis, uh, <laughs> Fraser. I don't know what name is that. You, anyways, uh, Welsh U.S. actor, uh, actress, uh, journalist, and publisher who co-founded the uh, Beginner Books. Yeah. Phyllis Fraser. 365 days later, in 1917, Robert Orville Anderson was born on the state. He was a U.S. businessman who founded Atlantic Richfield Oil Company. Yeah, it's a friggin' hot company today. Um, 1919, uh, we got Madeline Murray O'Hare, U.S. activist who founded American Athletes. Atheists. Oh, sorry. I'm doing like so many things at once. It's not even funny. Well, if you're busy, why don't you go and do that? Like, uh, no, I, don't it's wanna, all right. I don't want to hold you up or anything. No, you're good. All right. In 1922, yeah. we have Julius uh, Nyerere, a Tanzanian politician and leader who is the first president of Tanzania. Oh. 1937, we got Landford Wilson, U.S. playwright who co founded. A circle repertory company. Yeah. 1940, Jean Marie Gustave Le Clésio uh, was a Breton French Marouchian author and academic. Same year, 1940, we got Max Mosley, uh, English race driver and engineer who co founded March Engineering and is a former president of the FIA. The FIA is the Fédération Internationale de Automobiles. It is an association established on uh, 20th of June 1904 to represent the interests of motoring organizations and motor car users. To the general public, the FIA, the, the FIA is mostly known as the governing body for many auto racing events such as the well-known Formula One. That is hmm. definitely going in the underbar for anybody who's interested in learning more about the FIA. Anyway, 1955, last but not least, we have Muinda Mutabai II, the current king of Buganda Kingdom. Jumping on into death, so I'm going to start us off here in 548, we have Lai Nam Di, a Vietnamese emperor. 799, we got Paul the Deacon, Italian monk and historian. 892, Donald I, king of the Picts. 
1716, you got Arthur Herbert, first Earl of Torrington, English admiral and politician. 1886, John Humphrey Noyes died on the state. He was an American religious leader who founded the Oneida community. Um, 1975, you got Frank I can't pronounce Francius, whatever. Uh, Tom ba Balbay, whatever his name is. Kadian, uh, no, fucking hell. Uh, Chan Dang, soldier, academic, and politician who was the first president of Chad. Dang, what a Chad. It's funny, Chad is a country in Africa, and the outline of it looks like the Chad head from the Chad meme. You know, the guy who's huh. like, uh, uh, you know. Yeah. 1978, uh, uh, Funmilayo Ransom Kuti, a Nigerian educator and women's rights activist. Uh, we got 1997, uh, Brian, uh, Brawls, Bowles, I can't, ugh. Brilliant Bulls, who a uh, U.S. soldier, activist, and a hero who founded the National Association for the uh, Avan uh, Gosh damn it, Advanced uh, Meet of White People. Yeah, uh, we need yeah. representation too. You know. <laughs> and can not just be beyond. Yeah, but see, what we're all people fake? on this earth. It doesn't matter, you know. Yeah. Anything what is fake? like. Yeah. But. You know, once you start looking at differences rather than similarities, that's when everything starts crashing down. So, Anyway, last but not least, in 2015, Gunther Grass died on the state. He was a German novelist, poet, playwright, and illustrator. 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 <laughs> and that concludes the show. Once again, check the underbar for any links <laughs> that you may be interested in, which also includes Sohen's Twitch, Sohen.tv. Uh, you can go check him out. He, uh, he, he streams every now and then. Um, and it's entertaining stuff. Uh, you can also find everything Omni Coalition, and I do advise that you go to our Rumble or BitChute and subscribe over there, because it's just a matter of time uh, before the evil Google overlords decide to take this show down, and by extension the channel, because we actually talk truth out here, and that's the last thing these libtards want. Uh, anyway, um, oh yeah, uh, do you have an announcement to make, or are you still waiting uh, to talk about it, uh, Mr. Richard? Uh, about the video. Yeah. Uh, be out shortly. Uh, should be out uh, most likely next week, so keep know of that. All right. I'll post it and go to that good stuff. So. When would you like to have me uh, have your link in the underbar permanently as well? Uh, probably next show. I probably can, uh, send the link to you after the show, and you can, uh, start, uh, okay. yeah, because that's where I want to start posting videos on. Okay. Currently, I have zero videos, but <laughs> screw it. Yeah. All right, well, looking forward to that, and, uh, welcome to the team. Anyway, for your dose of Pass Events Daily, we stream every day uh, between noon and 3 Pacific Time, which is also 2 or 5 uh, Eastern, not Eastern, uh, Central Time, not Eastern. Um, for all of you and all of us, I am A.O. Xander. Richard Pound. And that guy over there is uh, Sir Lunk, currently uh, MIA. Um, anyway, don't forget to look right and left at every intersection, rate five thumbs and subscribe until you see us tomorrow. Toodles! And let's go, Brandon. Byron.